Hi, this is Jason Radford, and today I want to show you how to use our Lexical Decision Task template. This is a part of our test system for Sage experiments. Uh, if you've used this system before and you want to give us feedback, please take this short survey here linked on the front to let us know about your experience and what you're interested in. So let's get started. So I want to log in with my account uh, here. So I've created my account, already logged in. Now the first thing you'll see, of course, is the templates, or are the templates. I've already done some studies before, as you can see here. Uh, but in this tab, I have a new study that I can create. Um, I'm going to do the Lexical Decision task today. So I will select my you know, Create button. And I'm going to call it Lexical. Let me see, we'll do this as a, a sports Lexical Decision task. Uh, sports Lexical Decision task. So we're going to do a Lexical Decision task focused on uh, words for sports words related to sports. Now, just a quick background of the lexical decision task, uh, summarized here in the about page um, for you to read and get inspiration from, but you know, a quick overview is uh, the lexical decision task is a way of understanding what words or strings or phrases people are um, most easy uh, to recognize. Um, and there are many reasons why different words or phrases would be easy to recognize, and that's what sort of the psychology behind this is about. Uh, so read more uh, on this about page to give you a sense of what makes things easy to recognize or not uh, and what kind of um, science you can do based on this mechanism. But for now, uh, let's focus on creating a lexical decision task where we think people are going to be really um, good at or it's going to be really easy for people to spot sports related terms. We want to test how easy it is for people to recognize sports related terms. So on the configure tab, this is where we're going to set up the experiment. Uh, the lexical decision task as an experiment uh, presents participants with three kinds of strings. The first is a target string. So in this case, I want to be sports terms. Uh, I'll fill this out a little bit more in a second, but we'll say sports and ball. It's going to have uh, the, the second type of um, stimulus is going to be a, no a neutral word, so a word that is not related to the thing that you're studying, but people will have to say, is it a word or not? So I will say, oh, hello is fine. So with hello, so the word down here, green, good neutral words. Uh, the third category of stimuli are non-words. So in this case, P-L-N-E-T-Y and P-A-T-R-Y are both not real words. Um, now there are many ways to create non-words. The easiest way to do it is to take a word and just switch two letters. So P-A-T-R-Y is actually party, and P-L-N-E-T-Y is just plenty. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, create the target words. Uh, so I'm going to add a couple of target words. So sports, ball, bat. Let's see, add another word here. Uh, runs for baseball, baseball season, points. And competition. Well, let's do compete. Compete. Okay. Now let me see. Uh, so I want this to be. A, this, these are all target words. So we'll select target. These. And we'll need to tell the study uh, where to put these words. Um, so you can put them in the example, so the training example up front, or in the trial, the actual study that you're doing. In this case, we'll do both. Um, generally, I'd recommend um, having uh, you know, a separate set of words for placement, or for, for uh, both, uh, for um, trial and example. But this will just make it a little bit easier for us to do the test. Now, let's see. Now I have four, five, six target words. I'm going to create six neutral words. Uh, I already have two, so let's do um, house. Justice, so something abstract. And, uh, let's do an emotion word. Anger. Let's do I'm not going to identify these as neutral terms. Again, we'll set them up as both. 
go. And I think it's five, so I need two more neutral words. You generally want to balance these out. What's going to happen is it's going to randomly draw from your list of neutrals, targets, and um, non-words. So it'll, it'll give you an equal number of each, no matter how many you put into the bank. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that people don't see a single word um, too often. That's sort of what we are shooting for here. Uh, so one more, two more neutral words. Let's do words. That was an easy one. Uh, 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 neutral. Both. And then let's see. How about um, pants? Let's say a party and plenty, and I had to do a p word. So neutral. Both. And there are a lot of. Uh, questions or angles about what kinds of neutral words uh, work best. Um, there's a whole literature around it. There's a whole actually dictionary of words that are easier and harder to identify for people. Um, so feel free to look into that. All right, so now we need uh, seven total non-words. We have two already. So let's choose grass, except we're gonna do, so I wanted to do grass before, it's already on my mind. Non word, both. Add word, target. We're going to do target. <laughs> non word, both. Let's see. Boxer, we'll say boxer. Non word, both. Two more. Uh, spider. I don't know where that came from. I keep doing the last two. Let's do Sifter. Non word. Both. And um, Marshall. A lot of keys, I think. Parable. That's a little too close. Patriel. Oh, that's actually a word. Um, par. Let's do I A I L part or tail. I don't think that's a word. That's probably not a word. Uh, okay. So now we have our list of seven neutral, seven non-words, and seven target words. They don't have to be in any particular order here. You just have to make sure that it says neutral for neutral, target for target, and non-word for non-word. Now, here's where you actually set up the experiment. Um, so how many examples do you want people to see before they actually um, do the real experiment? Um, generally, the, the more the better in terms of warm-ups. Um, and one of the things that you can do for examples as well is uh, not include any of the target words in your examples. And you just do that by switching all of these to, to trial rather than both. Either way. Uh, so we're going to do two examples, which is kind of the default, make it quick. Number of trials is the number of times somebody's going to have to classify these things as words or non-words. Um, I'm going to just decrease this to something quick for the demonstration here. Focus icon. So what happens is they'll see a word, they'll guess is it a word or not, and then they get a focus icon. This plus symbol. You can do whatever you want. It can be a question mark. It can be a star. The plus is the, the sort of standard here. But this is sort of like a palate cleanser. Um, so people aren't thinking about the last word before they answer the next one. 500 millisecond focus delay. So this is how long people see that plus sign or whatever the icon is before they see the next word. You can change the color of the icon. For now it's blue. Uh, Mid-round delay. So the number of milliseconds after, um, uh, after the focus icon. So this is the focus icon for 500 milliseconds or half a second then they'll have a half second break between the focus icon and the next uh, word. Show feedback. So if somebody uh, uh, uses the feedback button in the study, you'll uh, see the feedback. Oh, no, no, sorry. So uh, show feedback here is um, people will see whether they were right or wrong at the end. Um, this is just a nice little feature for letting people you know, see um, how they did. So once I have everything set up, I click the set configuration button, sort of the equivalent of save, so saving the configuration for the survey. Now we're done. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to test. We're going to launch bar here. So this is a public link here. 
uh, for this particular study. Um, but before I invite anybody to go to click on this link, I'm going to try myself and see what happens. I'm going to launch my preview. So you can see I get the instructions, the activity tests, how quickly you can classify words and non-words. Uh, complete two examples and then continue on. Oh, I don't know, I forgot whether A or L is correct. So A is for a word and L is for non-word. I did two examples, no non-words. That's a real word, that's not a word. Real word, real word. There we go, 100% correct, 733 milliseconds on average. Cool. So I'm gonna hit the quit, quit button. When you're done, over here, uh, hit the quit button. And I'll pop you back in here. Uh, so that's just sort of, you're showing you exactly the experience that your participants are going to see. You can go over the data um, and export. Uh, just make sure you set your dates to include the, the, the data that you just generated. Uh, export. So now you see I got sports, ball uh, as my examples, compete, gars, bat, and justice. They are all you know, correct is true, true, true. Answer A L A L. So this is the data as you'll as you'll see it um, in uh, when people participate. So if you wanted to uh, you know, write data anal uh, cleaning and an analysis scripts, you can create some fake data as a researcher and then uh, write your code. This is really um, just for you to make sure that you understand the data that's going to be created from the experiment. Um, so this looks really ready to go. Um, so all I have to do now is share this link with whomever I want to have participate. Um, if I click, I'm going to copy the link here. I'm going to open up a new tab. Join category, 983. And now I'm participating as if I were a normal uh, person, not the researcher. So A for real word, sports and ball. Great. Points, that's a word. Tail, not a word. That's a word. Justice is a, oh no, justice. Yeah, I got it wrong. Because I was expecting a sports term. People are much more likely to get the neutral terms wrong than the target terms if, if people are, are quick to process it. All right, and then the participant's done. And they can go off and do other experiments if they want. Uh, so that's it. Uh, again, you can go over to the data here, uh, export, if you unclick, the preview data, you'll only see the participants' data, you know, the, the, the participant that I just was. Um, nope, take it back. This is not working correctly. Usually, you would just see the, the uh, participants' data. I hope we need to fix that. All right, thank you so much. Uh, if you have any feedback on the lexical decision task, please uh, send us an email at support at volunteerscience.com. There's more that you would like to see, other experiments you'd like us to um, include, fill out that survey. Again, it's on the homepage. Um, it's the best way for you to give us feedback uh, that helps us improve this product. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.